Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. How great to see you all back. And I do trust you enjoyed my last video on Melbourne singer-songwriter Greta Ray and through her song Unexpected Feelings, we looked at the vulnerability and rawness and complexity of relationships. I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 1952. Uh, Meryl Bubba Knight, Brenda Knight, Eleanor and William Guest and Gladys Knight. And of course, when you put those five together, you get Gladys Knight and the Pips. Um, rock and Roll Royalty, um, in fact, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. And um, together, for quite a long, long period of time, these guys have been nailing rhythm and blues, soul and funk. In fact, these guys wrote the book on that stuff um, with Gladys's incredible vocals and um, the incredible harmonies of the guys behind her. And these guys paved the way for some absolutely monster songs. Um, you've got to love um, silky, smooth delivery of vocals to vocal harmony. You've got to love it. You've just got to love how effortless and seamless it is to create what is a beautiful sound. Because music isn't just songs. Songs are music. And to really pull music off, you've got to be able to deliver it in such a way that people just kept, kept away, kept, kept um, just blown away by and to be absorbed by. And I, and I think um, we owe a lot to, to people who know how to do this thing really, really well. And Gladys Knight um, really is a, st a stunning singer. And um, because of that, um, the world has kind of changed because of the way that she was able to do what she did. Um, and, you know, according to Mariah Carey, who actually inducted Gladys Knight in the Pips of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know, she wrote the book on how to deliver music such as these ones. Um, often these songs are all about love, and love is complex as we know. Love, um, you never completely work out. Um, love is just one of these things that um, doesn't let us go once it grabs hold of us. Love is one of these things that we all want in this life, and um, that's, thank goodness for music, who captures all of the nuances, every contributable little part of love, but there's still so much more to love um, than every song in the world has ever been written. But it's good to be able to reflect on certain aspects of love with these songs. Um, they're, they're, they're big hit, 1961, Every Beat of My Heart. Uh, I've got a live version of that one below. Probably where I want to go today. Um, when relationships start, um, there's, you know, it's exciting and new, right? Now, there's, a, there's also a little bit of a holding backness as well. Like, I don't know how this thing's going to go. Um, just testing the waters here. Is this a real thing or not? Um, and we think, oh, we, we, we just need to wait and see. Obviously, there's got to be time given at the start of relationships to work this stuff out. And, and I think um, at some point, though, um, a trust in the relationship needs to grow to such a point that you're willing to give yourself completely over to it. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to work. Um, the other person will feel it. You'll feel a little bit nervous inside about not giving yourself over and your reluctance will grow and it'll grow and grow and grow and it'll get to the point where you can't do it. Now, obviously, not all relationships will continue. This is the thing, important thing to remember that, you no, know, there may not be um, what's needed for a relationship to flourish. But if you do find yourself in a relationship where you are feeling pretty comfortable and relaxed about it, well... It gets to the point of, do I need to give every beat of my heart over to that other person? Um, you will know when it's right. There's no, you, there's no timeline here. There's no like, um, oh, it's going to be tomorrow or next week. We just don't know when it's going to be. But we just get a bit of a vibe and a bit of a feeling about, well, hey, I actually going to go all in now. Now, we don't go all in at the start, do we? we? We need to just work it out a little bit, otherwise we get hurt and we get a bit annoyed and frustrated. Um, we need to give ourselves patience and time to work out whether this is actually a thing or not. But at some point, a decision need, needs to be made. Is, it, is this an every page of my heart relationship or not? And if it is, 
and hopefully you've talked about the journey on the way. Often what happens at the start is we don't talk to each other because we don't want to muck it up. Maybe that's the best time to talk about it. So if you are if you're in a relationship for a little bit of time, it's bitten you and, it's, and you're thinking, well, can I trust this person or not? Um, and you're thinking, well, perhaps I can. And the other person might be thinking the same thing. You'll both feel this thing at the same time, probably. Well, every bit of my, it could be become an every bit of my heart relationship. And that's really, really where we want. We want it to be honest and transparent, passionate, all the rest of it that it needs to be. And then it can just grow and deepen because that's what we want relationships to do. We want them to deepen as well, don't we? So we can rely on them. So I trust you find that all a bit of an encouragement. Now, these guys were the first to record the mega hit. I heard it on the I heard it through the grapevine. I heard it on the grapevine. This song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame for a significance, this particular version. Um, this is after Gladys Knight and the Pips got signed to the Motown label in 1966. So we got I heard it on the through the grapevine, the live version of that one from 1967. Then move forward to uh, 1973. Neither one of us wants to say goodbye. What a what a what an interesting scenario this one, and that is it's not the relationship's not going anywhere, but we kind of want it to keep going, but it's not going anywhere. What you do what you do in that particular scenario, who knows? Um, it can be a bit of a challenge when you're kind of stuck and you don't know what to do or where to go. Um, and so this song just really captured that whole feeling really, really well. We've got a live version of that one. Also, 1973, we've got a Midnight Train to Georgia. Uh, this is, a, again, a live version uh, from 19, uh, 1993, I think it is. This is from the Kennedy Centre, so it was good to see Gladys Knight get acknowledged there. And a song that was also been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame, so another significant performance for, uh, from Gladys Knight. Now, I've looked at this song a few times, 1982 out came, That's What Friends Are For, Elton John, Dionne Warwick, Gladys Knight and Stevie Wonder. Got to give this one a bit of a go again because this is a mega hit for these four, uh, written by uh, Carol Bayer and Bert Bacharach. And so um, to be able to, again, give focus on this song is pretty, pretty cool. Got a visual clip on that one. Now, between 1961 and 1987, there were 21 top 20 singles. It's pretty, pretty amazing. 27 studio albums. Um, the Gladys Knight and the Pips, seven American Music Awards, three Grammy Awards, uh, Georgia Music Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Lifetime Achievement Award in R&B, uh, Grammy Hall of Fame, as I've already said, and Video Group Hall of Fame. Um, so it's good to see that these guys, just in their own small way, getting on with the mute of the business of just singing songs and singing good songs is all you have to do to get a following. And Gladys Knight and the Pips did this really, really well. So it's good to be able to give these guys a bit of a bit of a go today. I've also included um, Mariah Carey's um, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction speech as well. So if you want to look at that one, feel free. Um, the links to those, how many got? One, two, three, four, five, six clips are in the description below. And I've also included my last video from Greta Ray if you want to recap on her. Well, um, I trust you've been encouraged today. If you've come back for another one, if this is your first time, the Life Reflection Tree Music, thank you to everyone for, for being here and for coming back. And that's it for today. Next time we're going to get onto Gloria Gaynor. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.